Well, our next honoree's incredible body of work has earned her just about every award there is, from an Emmy to a Tony to a Golden Globe. And my goodness, Oscar, what are you waiting for? Here to present the Hollywood Career Achievement Award to Glenn Close is Emmy Award-winning actor Ted Danson. Good evening. This is uh, a great pleasure for me tonight to present Glenn Close with the Hollywood Career Achievement Award. I've had the pleasure to work with her on two different occasions, something about Amelia and Damages. And I can tell you that she is one of those rare actors who inspires all those around her to do their best work. I know that to be true because each time I worked with Glenn, I was nominated for a Golden Globe. Unfortunately, she was unable to inspire the Hollywood foreign press to actually give me the award. But, ah oh well. You know what, as, as much as it pains me to say this, tonight is not about me. Um, we're here to honor Glennie. In the years before and between our two on-screen encounters, Glenn has starred in some of the most iconic films of our time and created some of the screen's most memorable performances in films like The World According to Garp, The Big Chill, <laughs> Dangerous Liaisons, The Natural, and of course, the one that scared all of us out of our wits and did more for marital fidelity than any other film in history, <laughs> Fatal Attraction. <laughs> and now perhaps her most memorable and moving performance of all in Albert Knobs, which is about to be introduced to movie-going audiences. It's a story that she's worked on to get on film for over 20 years. The finished product bears her credit, not just as an actress, but also as a producer, co-screenwriter, and even lyricist. Glenn is one of the most generous, collaborative actors I've ever had the pleasure to work with. She is a generous friend whose social conscience leads her Conscience leads her time and time again to answer the call when asked to come out and support. Glenn, I'm proud to present you with the Hollywood Career Achievement Award. Thank you. <clears throat> I have to read this, but it's so scribbly. <laughs> I hope I can make it out. <clears throat> I want to thank the, first of all, thank you, Ted. Thank you so much for being here and for, um, for giving me this wonderful award. And thank you to Hollywood Film Festival. It's humbling and kind of confusing trying to figure out what to say when given an award like this. I don't feel wise or particularly insightful. If anything, I feel more aware of the fragility of it all. As far as all the choices that are the reason why I'm here tonight, I think back at something that Stephen Freer said at a big and kind of buzzing European press conference for Dangerous Liaisons all those years ago. There were accolades just whizzing through the air and Steve, Stephen was the man of the moment. Someone got up and started making some very intellectual observations about certain aspects of the film, some, something like how he so brilliantly mirrored the complexity of the relationships with his use of light and shadow or maybe it was about his use of camera, choice of close-ups. And then this person concluded by asking Stephen, how had he done it? How had he managed to get it so right on so many levels? And Stephen thought for a moment and then said, well, it just seemed like a good idea at the time. <laughs> I think of moments when one feels totally devoid of inspiration and a whole crew is watching and the minutes are ticking by and the producers are looking at their watches and a terrible panic starts grabbing you by the throat because you know you don't have it and you have no clue as to what it is or where it will come from. Moments that demand the simplicity of truth because that's the only thing that truly connects and without it you might as well get into another line of work. 
all the incredible directors who have whispered, inspired suggestions in my ear during moments of panic, thank you. And it, it's because I've had so many brilliant people constantly whispering in my ear that I'm here tonight. And what a luxury it is to be in a profession where you can go to work looking like a bag lady and come out an hour and a half later looking fabulous. So if it wasn't for the costume designers and hair and makeup people. Wait a second. <laughs> That's right, hair and makeup people to, ah. <laughs> um, and if it wasn't for all the DPs who have worked their magic on me all these years, <laughs> I certainly wouldn't be here tonight. Even though people come up to me on the street still and say, oh, wow, you look so much better in life than you do in film. <laughs> I, 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 I'm amazed that they think that's a compliment. <laughs> I also have to thank my parents who first thought that being an actress wouldn't be good for my character and learned over the years that they were right. <laughs> I think my favorite acceptance speech, I'm sure a lot of you remember it, my favorite of any kind was when Maureen Stapleton said, I want to thank everyone I've ever met in my entire life. I feel like that tonight because it's all so connected starting with Professor Howard Scammon, who was the head of the theater department of William and Mary, who would stand with his fist clenched in the wings and say, just do it. <laughs> George Roy Hill, who put me in my first movie. When I went up to him and said, I hope you'll take care of me. I've heard that a lot of stage actors can't make the transition into film. He said, you're right, a lot of them can't. You know, I thought writers, directors, actors, this profession is like baseball and jazz. It's full of names of people whose brilliance you will only understand when you see them at work. There's so many of those names. I feel there's an army of people behind me as I stand here tonight. And I want to thank all of them. I want to thank my husband, David Shaw, who is a civilian. <laughs> and not long after we were married, he, he, uh, he looked at me one day and said, I know what it is. It's all about the hair. <laughs> and I want to thank my beloved daughter, Annie, who was only seven weeks old when we arrived on the set of Dangerous Liaisons, who is now 23 and an actress herself, even though I tell her that it's not good for her character. <laughs> the most precious thing we have is time, and our lives are the sum of how we choose to spend each moment. For me, the process is everything. Choosing projects that I can believe in involving people who I can't wait to spend time with, to play, to try to get it right. That's the feast. That's the ultimate luxury. And to be given an award like this for something that already makes me so deeply happy is truly an embarrassment of riches. Thank you. <laughs> 